Hi everyone, welcome to our new Hospice Vaughan home, the Mario and Nick Cordellucci Hospice Palliative Care Centre of Excellence. My name is Belinda Marchese and it's my great pride to show you around our new hospice home that will serve our community and beyond. Welcome to our new Hospice Vaughan home, serving our community. It's with great pride and pleasure we talk a little bit about the kindness and compassion of citizenship, family, and about taking care of those in need. This is our celebration room. When you first enter Hospice Vaughan, you're gonna see a lovely family setting. This is to embrace our community. We're here to come together in our community programs, and we've been doing this for 26 years. Here our volunteers come every week to greet our community clients and their family members and their caregivers. They sit down, they enjoy creative activities, they also share a meal together, they are, volunteers cook for them, and it's really a nice way of building relationships. This is our family center as well as where we do our children and youth programs. It's a wonderful, warm and inviting place where people can connect with one another. We offer wellness activities here, we do support groups here as well, and we just like the community to come together. Part of our community program also includes a wellness program, wellness that supports the mind and the body. We do lots of mindfulness activities, we do meditation, we do stretching, we do yoga, activities that people find very supportive as they're caring for a loved one or if they themselves are affected by illness. We have compassionate volunteers that donate their time to offer complimentary therapies in our wellness therapy room as well and we'll hope to grow that into our community program as well. This space is intended for our community clients. They can come here, they can talk to someone that they care about. They can talk to one of our psychosocial staff, one of our counselors. They might have an opportunity to speak with one of our physicians or one of the nurses if they're being supported in the community program as well. It's a really tranquil place. It's inviting, it's very calm, and it's just really important that people come together and talk about how they're feeling and talk about what they can do to be supported by the organization as well. Here in our community space, we also have a medical room where our doctors and nurses can see our community clients. Supporting people throughout their illness is our goal, helping them stay at home and remain at home. So when they come and access community programs here, they also have an opportunity to see part of our healthcare team, to do a check-in with them, and also to make sure if they have any current needs that they're being addressed. When you come to Hospice Vaughan, you're gonna be greeted by the volunteers, our healthcare staff, that are in our welcome center and resource center. It's really important that the community feels that they're very welcome when they come to our hospice home. So when people first come into the hospice residence home, it's really to signify a part of their family and a part of their community. Here is our den. We invite people to read books and to spend some time having quiet moments as well as keeping in touch with family members on the computer. It's really important that you still have that sense of community in a home away from home environment. This is our care center, our 24 seven healthcare team, here to serve those that we care for and their family members. A dedicated and compassionate group of individuals that are nurses, RPNs, PSWs and physicians. It's really important that they are part of the heart and soul of this community because at the end of the day, they're taking care of people at a very important time, their end of life and supporting their family members. It's something that we're most gracious to now continue to offer to our community with a 24 seven hospice residence to take care of a loved one and the family. Home is where the heart is, the family kitchen, a place where every single day we'll have baked goods, fresh soups, cooked by our staff and by our caring volunteers, something that we invite our individuals 
in the residence as well as the family to enjoy and partake in. A family fridge that's full of little goodies and treats, it's really important that they feel comforted and that they feel taken care of when they're here in our hospice home. So this is our great room where families connect. We have a family room, we have a dining area. This is what I call the heart of our hospice, the sense of community, the sense of family. As you look outside these doors, you're going to notice that we have a hug zone, something that embraces kindness and compassion. Six rooms on our north, six rooms on our south, centering in the great room where people can come together. We're gonna to take a little walk outside. Having a special place in the outdoors really offers a lot of tranquility and peace. Mother Nature teaches us many things every single day. This outdoor courtyard is here to embrace those that we care for as they all have private views into the courtyard, as well as for families and individuals to come and enjoy the outdoor space. If you want to come and sleep under the stars here at Hospice Vaughan, you will indeed have that opportunity to do that. Our beautiful outdoor space really just reflects Mother Nature and the beauty of being on conservation land. We've had the opportunity to get many special gifts throughout the entire building that include some beautiful bronze sculptures and much more to come. I invite you into a very special room. It's a room of contemplation, reflection, one that connects the body, mind, spirit and soul we hope for those that come to be cared for in our new hospice home. Our spiritual and reflection room will be embraced by our community, by our faith leaders, and by our cultural groups. We've invited them to bring mementos and tokens that reflect their values, and we hope to make it available to all that come to be cared for here. We're on the south corridor of our new hospice care facility, and here we have six rooms that look onto the courtyard. It's a real tranquil place where we give people privacy for them and their loved ones to be in their own personal room. Our private rooms to care for an individual at their end of life and their family members is a very special place. We want it to be a private room of solace and tranquility for them. Obviously a hospital bed to take care of their medical needs as well as a care team of 24-7 healthcare staff. Families are invited to stay and be in the room with their loved ones. It happened to me and my sisters where we had that opportunity at a different hospice. We stayed over, we were able to watch TV, we brought in our own food, and they took care of us as well. We're going to do the exact same thing here at Hospice Vaughan for those that come to be cared for at their end of life to make their final rest as comfortable and as dignified as possible. So this is our hydrotherapy room, which has a therapeutic spa and shower really important to allow people to have the care and nurturing that they have at home. If you want to have a therapeutic spa bath, you're going to have one here. We've really outfitted this room with all the comforts for both the person and the healthcare staff to make sure that they're comforted. We have radiant heating above, we have a blanket and towel warmer, as well as all of the top of the line equipment to make sure that when you're being cared for in your room or in the therapeutic spa room, that you will be well cared for by the team. Welcome to our hospice kitchen, a special place that we're going to be preparing lovely and nourishing foods for the individuals we care for, as well as the families that come to us. Patricia and our volunteers are going to be here every single day, caring for the individuals, making homemade, fresh food to care for them. At each of our wings, we have a family den a sitting area for families to be able to come together and to take a break, have a cup of tea, and also bring their children. Come on through. Our sitting area will be a place where individuals and families can come together, a little home away from home place. Very tranquil, children and families are invited to come and to stay, to read a magazine, have a cup of tea or coffee, and just be present with one another. It's really nice to take a little bit of a break when you're caring for your loved one 24-7. We really want to take care of the families that come here as well. We really wanted to create a sanctuary for seasons. 
where we could have a solarium for individuals and their loved ones to come and to enjoy out, kind of like the outdoor space, a beautiful sitting area where people can just sit close to nature, just to breathe and to stay connected with each other. Four Seasons is really important. We want people to enjoy the mother nature elements as well as just that ability to breathe in fresh air. We're gonna take a little walk outside and how it all connects to the courtyard. It's a really beautiful, peaceful place that we hope people will enjoy. We are so blessed to have Mother Nature close by. The birds you can hear, the deer are here every day, even a coyote and a raccoon gracious with their presence. The wandering spirits that engage the community, engage Mother Nature, and right here, off of Islington Avenue, if you could believe. No one would ever believe that this little sanctuary here in our new hospice home residence will be one of solace and comfort for those that come to be cared for. It's something that I hope will be a very tranquil opportunity and just very special for an individual to have access to. We are truly blessed. The colors of the rainbow live forever. Here at Hospice Vaughan, we're always going to remember those that we care for. It's really an opportunity to remember those that we care about, our community, and those that we hope have a better ending and a better journey in their end of life as well as for their families. We're going to take a little walk and I'm going to tell you a little bit more of what's happening here on the second floor here at Hospice Vaughan's new facility. So let me show you our new Learning and Education Centre here on the second floor at our new Hospice Vaughan facility. Learning and education is a lifelong opportunity for our healthcare workers, for our volunteers, for our interprofessional partners and for our community at large. Our Learning and Education Centre will be part of our cornerstone activities here to continue to grow and support hospice palliative care issues here in the City of Vaughan. Supporting our Learning and Education Centre will be our Institute for Hospice Palliative Care. The Pristine Home Institute will be growing and connecting with academic centres, with learners and with interprofessional partners, ensuring that the next generation and the ongoing learning in hospice palliative care continues to support not just our Hospice Vaughan community, but all communities across the province, across Canada, and we hope internationally as well. One of the wonderful things on the second floor in our new hospice home is a healthcare hub, a palliative care hub where interprofessionals from the community that are providing compassionate care in people's homes can also have a touching point of being connected to Hospice Vaughan. We have open workstations for doctors, for nurses, and other allied healthcare professionals to be able to come into hotel in our workspaces, as well as our volunteers and our expanding community programs team. It's really important that people have an opportunity to stay connected. We have meeting rooms, we have a boardroom, as well as our training and learning and education center. So I just wanted to show everyone a little bit of our upstairs space and making sure that they know that they're very welcome and to be part of our community in doing this important work. Remembering our roots is so important. All those that had a hand and the generations of hospice vision and compassion here in our community. To Mayor Bevilacqua, your leadership and your devotion. To TRCA, to all of our donors and supporters over the last 26 years, for everyone who's put their hand into the heart of this hospice and making this reality possible. To our elected officials, to all of our ambassadors and friends, we will stand proud with you to continue to serve our community together at this very important time when people need us the most. The legacy of a better ending is only one that we can do once. Our birth and our end of life is a journey that we take with much pride and joy and we really want our community to know that we're here for you and we thank everyone who's been part of it. The board, the volunteers, I simply have no words. You are the heart of Hospice Vaughan. Together we stand proud and we will continue to do much more together. A very special thank you to the Cordellucci family 
who have been by our side, who have helped make this dream a reality, with both the Mario and Nick Cordellucci Hospice Palliative Care Center, as well as with the Pristine Home Institute and Hospice Palliative Care. So much more will come from your generosity to serving those in our community. And my heartfelt thanks to your entire family for the support and kindness that you have given us in our opening of the new Hospice Vaughan facility.